Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So I decided to do this impromptu video because my buddy Mark just walked in with a bag of uh, pro staffs. Stay tuned. This episode is sponsored by my friends at Go Sport, the makers of the most premium, durable, and the most organized bags you can get. Introducing their new 2.0 collection. We got the nine pack, my favorite backpack, and introducing a 12 pack. That's gonna be my bag right there. Check it all out and organize your tennis life at GoSport.com. So my buddy Mark, we're fellow Phil's fans, um, walked in with this bag here. It's a pro staff bag and he's like started to show me rackets and i'm like what uh and i'm like okay well we got to show the fans what's going on here okay so we're gonna start actually with our favorite rf that you found so you are a collector yeah. of pro staffs i'm kind of choked up on this stuff now and and we both agree that this is the best rf made I think it feels the best in terms of overall weight and swing weight and just driving through the ball. Yeah, I agree with that. And, and the feel mm -hmm. is like bar none yeah. the best. So I tell people all the time, if you can get the one with the red and the black, you buy this one. Okay. Where'd you get this one? I got that on eBay. eBay. Yeah. Okay. Like early on in the pandemic. Got it. So RF stuff is probably going up right now, right? Yeah, especially after <laughs> Federer, Federer's uh, retirement. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's not going to be good. I think everything shot up like maybe a hundred bucks or more or thousands in some cases. Yes. Yeah. What else did you bring me so we can um, show the peeps? So I've been a big pro staff fan since the original St. Vincent 85. I'm also a diehard Federer fan. Um, when I first got back into tennis, I came into Harry's shop, met Harry, and purchased a couple of the Pro Staff 97s. I didn't feel I was ready to get the RF, but eventually I grew into collecting a couple of those. And finally, I went into uh, Wilson's website and got a custom uh, painted RF 97, but decided to go gloss black. So check it out. RF glossy, shiny feels great <laughs> and a lot of people were actually so skeptical oh glossy don't mean nothing uh, it doesn't really feel better mark tell the people it does it, <laughs> i actually I, I was a little bit suspicious of that too and i actually did get the rf97 in its stock form um i have that one at home but in comparison when you swing them um this one does feel a lot more plush mm-hmm there's a little more uh, feedback too, a little more feel. You, it'll feel plush if you hit it right. Mm -hmm. It's the gloss yeah. tells you that. Yeah. So, okay, believer, <laughs> right? Some people think I'm just talking out of my backside here. Oh, I'll take that one. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. sorry. We got to protect that. Yeah. Um. Let's see. We got some other ones I know Harry enjoys. This is one of his oh, favorites. Oh, he found the 4 2. It's one of my all time favorite rackets. This is one of the rackets I wish they would bring back in like a pro form or something like that. Um, where'd you get this one? Um, trying to remember if it was Mercari or eBay. I think it was eBay. Got it. And that one I, I jumped on right away just because of the overall condition. Oh yeah. Um, this one guy that's been collecting pro staffs, most of the stuff that he carries is in really good shape. Yeah, no, that's real, real clean. You don't see him in this condition very much. Yeah, and I'm pretty particular about, you know, trying not to 
um, scratch it or scrape it. Even the bumper guard and grommet is in really good shape. Yeah, and it's a four and a half, as most of these are. I would say three eighths and quarters are extremely rare for these. Yeah. So we got a couple more classics. One of them Ooh. in terms of the 90 square inch. Oh, look at this one, guys. This is uh, the frame. Well, it's the model that Federer won his first Wimbledon title with, the Tour 90. And uh, Angus, if you're out there watching, um, I think you and I should compare notes because I think mine in, is in a lot better shape than yours. Oh, <laughs> call out to Angus. But I, I can't touch Angus. He's ha he has quite a collection. I'm, gonna, I'm just starting mine. I'm going to put Mark and Angus together. <laughs> <laughs> and they can talk pro staff. Um, so Mark was telling me that this is... The retail the, version. The retail version. So there is a fed version yeah. that the strings are... There's more string here, you so were saying? So there are two notable, noticeable differences. Um, main, re, main difference here is... In the three and nine o'clock position where the PWS is, mm -hmm. Federer's has four crosses, whereas the retail version has five. And then the grip handle, the retail version is much longer, so you can um, fit a two handed backhand. Federer's was much shorter. So for the true one handers, um, that's the main difference. Have you ever seen one of those to buy? No. no. That must those, be custom are, for him. Yeah, those are hard to find. Wow. Yeah. Well, Fed, if you're watching, we got a fan here. If you want to send one of your old sticks out, or be cool to <laughs> run into you and have you sign one or two of them. Isn't that the dream? And then there's another um, six one ninety guys. Yeah, another ninety. That was, I believe, the last ninety square inch that he played with before making the switch to ninety seven. Yeah, he won cosmetic. Wimbledon in two thousand twelve with that frame. And we're well, this is real clean. Where'd you yep. get this one? Um, oh, so that one, I was actually um, chatting with some guy on eBay and we had an exchange and found out that he lived up the street from me. So we just did a straight exchange. He came down and we just, you know, did a straight exchange, didn't have to go through eBay. Yeah, and he, he kept these in great condition. Is that my imagination or is there something missing here no. on this panel? It's like that, huh? Yeah, it's like that. Interesting. So this is the, the two thousand. This is the two thousand twelve model. The two thousand thirteen model is slightly different. Got it. So here, instead of saying six one ninety, it says ninety spelled out. Um, and then it's it's supposed to be symmetrical in terms of the graphics on both sides. Mm -hmm. And then um, it'll say Pro Staff right here instead of Wilson. And then the BLX logo is much bigger on the two thousand thirteen model. Got it. Wow, that's real clean, dude. Like, yeah, real clean. The other one that I have, which I didn't bring, is even way better shape. What? Yeah, you'll you'll be like, oh my god, it's super pristine. <coughs> we go pristine, the super pristine. Yeah. Jesus. Okay. Yeah. And then this is a rarity, um, and I don't know if you've actually seen one of these or encountered one. This is the RF eighty five. So this is based off the same exact mold as the 6085. It's not a St. Vincent. It was the actual um, Chinese version that Fed played with. Um, and if you look at the graphics, um, the V13, which came out later, has the same graphics, the white and gray pinstripes, as on the current version. So, so check it out right here. Oh, sorry. Pro Stuff RF85. Guys. Yeah, that was a limited edition. Check out Fed right there. You know, I was telling um, Mark when he uh, first brought this to me a couple minutes ago, I was like, I don't think this was ever offered to me. So I wasn't able to sell this because... Um, yeah, I believe this was yeah. only available on Tennis Warehouse. Oh, got it. Yeah. Got it, got it, got it. That's why. Because I would have definitely jumped in on these. Mm -hmm. And again, very pristine. Yeah, so the it uses the same bumper guard and grommet as the 6085. I would love to have 10 of these. <laughs> yeah, good luck getting these at a reasonable price right. on eBay.
All right, so I want to thank Mark for showing me your newest, latest, and greatest collection that you got. Any tips for the fans of where to find like pristine rackets like this and what kind of price points to expect? Oh man, um, I can only speak with regards to the pro staffs and um, if you guys are diehard Federer fans or pro staff fans in general, specifically looking at the 85s, 90s, and 97s, um, the since Fed announced his retirement, yes. prices have gone up. So um, you're going to have to look really hard to find rackets like this, you know, in good condition, but like at a reasonable price. Because now you'll be lucky to find something like this for less than a thousand. What? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and even like the RF 85 that I showed you, that limited edition, some of them are like way upwards of like three grand. What? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. I, I used to be able to pick one of these up mm -hmm. in a pinch for maybe one to 150 in decent condition, yeah. like these. Yeah. Um, ooh. Another thing I would say is for you guys that have the older collection, um, stock up on the bumper guard and grommet strips if you can get them at a you know decent price because even those are like hundreds of dollars. So if you can find those, like I mean, usually bumper guards and grommets are like maybe seven eight bucks, but even for some of the older stuff, if you can find them for like twenty thirty bucks. Grab it because so, those are the people are like charging like way upwards of 100 150 bucks for those you brought up a good point like for the last year and a half i could not get the bumper guard for this yeah it was only i could only order the version 13 ones and yeah. they don't fit these yeah. so for this specific model um i keep an eye on racketguys.com um, when they have them in stock grab them right away because as soon as they they, sh they show them online or you get an email blast they're gone within minutes and they're out of canada yeah, they're good guys. They're out yeah. of Canada. Yeah, yeah. So. yeah, they're a good source, and I've actually ordered stuff from them before. It actually comes pretty quickly, you mm -hmm. know, given that they do come from nor way up north. Yeah. Um, but you know, thanks for the tips, man. Yeah. Thanks for uh, thanks for sharing the the new rackets. Mark comes in from once in a blue moon, and he's kind of like a kid that just bought a bunch of candy, <laughs> and he's like, "Oh, look, I got this, and I got this Twizzlers in a in a in a red one, and and, and a pink one, you know." So, but he does it with tennis rackets, and yeah. and I love looking at all these pristine rackets all the time because usually I see the jacked up ones, and I got to clean them up. So, Mark, thank you, my brother. No, I appreciate you. you. Well, it's. It's all uh, your your channel has made this possible. Your content with oh. you, what you've showed and shared with the tennis community, as well as your um, um, specific content with Angus, um, has inspired me to grow my collection. So I appreciate oh, that. Thank you, thank yeah. you. We're definitely gonna put you with Angus together. <laughs> Angus, I know you're watching, and we'll put you together. You can talk awesome. pro staff all night long. <laughs> all right, guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.